tomorrow on Home and Family, we welcome pastors Joel and Victoria Osteen. And Jake Smollett from Food Network's Smollett Eats is in the kitchen. That's tomorrow, right here on Home and Family. It is time to eat. And Dan Kohler is here. Mastering the science of souffles. Do you guys smell that? <laughs> it smells really good, doesn't it? Now, Dan, yeah. souffles are, they're difficult to master. I mean, home cooks are afraid to do it. Chefs are afraid to do this. I think there's no other dessert in, in the lexicon of desserts that strikes fear in the heart of the home cook like the souffle. It's true. Okay, I, I'm going to jump in. Yeah, go, go for it. I'm not sure I exactly know what a souffle is. <laughs> wow. He's oh. leaving. No, I mean, oh, like it's a cake, a gooey thing. So let's, I, so what, I, let's I, 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 I'll help you define this, okay? okay? Yes. So if we translate the French, it's going to help us understand why it's so fragile. From French, souffle means to breathe or to whisper, which really hints at how delicate these things yeah. can be. Oh. But when we're just calling spade a spade, a souffle is just a rich, fatty sauce Ooh. lightened with egg whites and baked. It's really that simple. That's it? Wow. It's really that simple. What you make it sound that? so tantalizing. <laughs> I know. Would you I like know. a rich fatty <laughs> sauce that's baked? It sounds delicious. That's why they that's why they call it souffle in French. <laughs> yeah. Much easier, much easier. <laughs> and uh, so earlier today I came in because I want to show you guys exactly how this is done. And the first thing you do, you start by warming some milk. This is making that fatty sauce. I've got about a cup of milk, and here I'm beating these egg yolks <laughs> with a quarter cup of sugar and a quarter cup of flour. Now, that's going to help thicken this mixture, and it's also oh going to help protect that. those eggs from getting scrambled when I begin to temper the sauce. So tempering is a process in which you uh, add a little bit of warm milk to the eggs, you whisk them until they've raised in temperature just a little bit, and then you add that back into the milk. Now, I'm going to keep whisking this, and this is important. you got to whisk here until it's nice and thick, and that's going to take about five minutes. You can see. You can see trails that the whisk is leaving. That's a good sign. And now I'm adding six ounces oh my of chocolate. I can't. Um, I mean, that's would you add part. seven if you wanted to? If you wanted to. Eight. Okay. It's an extra fatty sauce. And we've got some here. I want you guys to start eating. Wow. Please. We want to start eating. Oh, my God. Oh, it's very starving. Oh, it's very Ooh. This is a bad idea. I'm so excited. Thank you. This is a horrible idea. You will not listen to a word you say. Yeah. Mark, how is that different from any other day? Oh, <laughs> no, if you want to learn how to make souffle, a proper souffle. souffle. <laughs> Instead of, I think that's touche. Oh, touche. Touche now, souffle. Now, that, that moment in the video when you saw that sauce get really thick over here, and I added six ounces of chocolate, mm. you guys at home can just as easily make this savory by adding six ounces of goat cheese and a handful of uh, caramelized onions. Oh, so so souffles can go either way. This is a, a four cheese souffle we've got right there. Oh, my I just want goodness. you to understand this formula is really easy to manipulate. Mm -hmm. Wow. Chocolate right there. It's, I mean, mm. they're, they're beautiful and they're mm. easy to serve. All right, now talk to me about the egg whites that you have meringued over All right, so this is the second most important part of your what? souffle. Oh, oh. Earlier I came in and I was beating these egg whites. Now I want to see what's happening here. When you beat egg whites, egg whites you should understand are basically a connection of water and protein. That's it. It's almost 90% of it is water and protein, okay? So you start beating it. We add a little bit of acid. Now that could be lemon juice or it could be cream of tartar. That helps strengthen these proteins. I'm adding a little bit of sugar. Mm -hmm. And what's happening as you beat this, air bubbles get trapped in there. And these pro protein strands, which are tightly wound to begin with, mm -hmm. they start to unfurl. So they look like knots to begin with. And then you start beating them. And they shake out like this. And then all of a sudden, they connect right over an air bubble. And what you have, essentially, with beaten egg whites is a... Uh, a structure of protein strands that are trapping air bubbles. And that's what gives souffle its lift. That's really what gives it all of its shape. Oh the rise. The ri well, oh. the rise is also a physics lesson. Now, the next thing you want to do here is just fold those egg whites into the I'm chocolate. I'm sorry, everything mm. you do is a physics lesson yeah. to me. Yeah. I, you could explain. Sometimes it's a chemistry lesson, Mark. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 Like what he's in school. <laughs> totally my bad. Okay. Oh. Once again, just souffle. I mean, touche. Cool. What about that rise? Okay. Because there are those rumors, oh. and the reason that people are so afraid of making souffle is yeah. because they're afraid it's going to collapse. collapse. On they it. are. They're afraid it's going to fail. Now, I will say one of the most important things to do is make sure when, when you're folding, you don't want to overdo this. You don't want to overmix it because that will collapse all of those bubbles, and then you won't have this nice, airy dessert that's coming out of the oven. Uh, but what's happening in the oven, these, uh, these pockets of air. Mm -hmm. Kim, do you know what happens when we uh, heat up air? Yeah. I have heard you, yeah. I have heard you in yeah. our trailer and yes. it's not a pretty sound, Dan. Oh, oh, 
Oh, my God. You, you turned that one off. I you did. Turned that I, did. On me. I, see, I see where he went there. So when you heat up these pockets of air, just like a hot air balloon, they begin to expand in the oven. And that's why a souffle rises. Now, if you shut your oven too quickly, mm -hmm. what's going to happen? There's going to be a giant pressure change in there. It's going to slam right up against here. Just like that. That'll do it. And it's gonna burst all of those bubbles. Yeah. So you've gotta be really? delicate with these things. You've gotta be very gentle when you're folding. You've gotta be very gentle when you put them in the oven. They are not uh, impossible, but they are delicate. Now, what about you have to cook it immediately? This is the, one of the great things about souffles, and I think this is a myth that it's, uh, people think it's very finicky and you've gotta do it right yeah. at the last minute. I could make this batter right here, put it into ramekins, and I could just let that sit in the fridge for a couple of days before my dinner party. That's, they're, they're really an easy thing to do. And it would still rise. It would Still rise because you're so you you have so much confidence about this, and so many chefs do not. <laughs> they do not. You know what? We're just trying to dispel myths here, Debbie. We're trying and to, you we're can't trying to help like like a lot of restaurants. If you go to order something, if they they they'll tell you right. If you yes, want to ask for for dessert, you got to order it now. You have that's to what order they tell it now, and that's what I'm like. Um, there's too much pressure. Pressure. I know. I'm like, I don't know. I want to wait to dessert. To don't you exactly. think they do it to get you to order dessert before uh, you're yeah. before yeah. you're full? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And a lot of that's what they're doing. What are you doing? Now you see right now, I'm actually giving a. By, by lining those ramekins with a little butter and sugar, I'm giving the egg white something to cling to so that it has something to crawl up the side so you get an even higher lift there. Oh. So that's... Dan, cool. is there a secret to having that gooey, chocolatey center? Yeah, yeah I will say, play? earlier when I was beating those egg whites, the, uh, the really important thing is actually don't overbeat them. So what we're doing here, we are building those protein structures, mm -hmm. but we don't want to make them dry and stiff, stiff. Then if you do that, you'll have this crumbly, crackly, dry souffle. Nobody likes that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. How do you know when to, when to stop putting it in there? Oh, I leave, go all the way about to the top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll rise up, correct? Exactly. What you want is a souffle that domes just over. And they're and they're really designed for these these sort of ramekin sized dishes. You couldn't do like a big You know, honestly, if you've got a if you've got a nice casserole dish, if you've got a nice fluted casserole mm -hmm. dish like this, there's no reason you couldn't make one souffle for six people. Especially if you go with that Why goat six cheese people? one. Why not just one person? Well, yeah, really likes the Mark, really? I'm trying to be kind. <laughs> 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 Sharing is caring. Would it really the, what it what is it called whisper? Would it really whisper? <laughs> It would definitely rise. It, it would, would rise? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And so if you make that goat cheese one and you want to put it out at the beginning of a dinner party with some crackers, that's really fun. Oh my Everyone can so dig delicious. in. You're going to put those in the oven? We're going to put these in the oven and then hey. we're going to check in when on them. Will they be ready? Because yeah. 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 you have to whisper. Yeah. Yeah. And do it and gently. We don't want to the Kim. air bubbles. Kim, <laughs> enough, <laughs> there's enough hot air. We're trying. Oh, you're oh, oh, wow. We go to our website and we'll come right back, check in on Dan's souffle and see how it is. Crack it, crack it. How long is it going to take? 14 minutes. 14. Okay. My bet. Oh my, my God. Bet. And in that time, you guys are going to get your, you're going to get your licks on Route 66. <laughs> the 2016 uh, Adopt a Pet for Life is next. Get your kicks on Route 66.